I met a man who saw the world differently. Sat cross-legged at his feet and he told me, remember the past, but cast your eyes forward. For tomorrow, our hope shall be a louder voice than our apathy. Our apathy shall finally take a step forward. Our steps forward shall lead us somewhere, mean something, hold meaning like friends, hold each other crying. I am crying for this world to change. Tears of empathy and sometimes apathy, I cry today for tomorrow. Even these tears shall be wiped from our faces. Lift your cheeks, though they are wet, there is one who shall collect them, yet hold them in his hands and call it the ocean. Beckon you to set sail, turn your face to the horizon for tomorrow. The nooses drawn tight around the necks of the oppressed will be like halos, like the saints around their heads are guiding light for the rest of us. Let us see the way forward comes not through power and politic, but through small acts of courage and change change, change, change us like loose coins are never gonna fix this problem so let us go deeper than just charity change us like sweatshops closing change us like politicians stop posing change us like half the women of the world don't have to be abused change us like somebody has to stand up for tomorrow we shall not just talk of gender equality but rather women who in total work two-thirds of the world's working hours will one day get paid more than just 10% of the world's income for tomorrow. We imagine a day when corners do not exist. Those years of muddy lips pressed against white skin, the many times she'd lie under the weight of a man's insecurity, forced into slavery fingers that rub bruises into her flesh as the sweat of large men stain her breasts that are the tools of her trade street worker taking tricks on her corner. Imagine a day when corners do not exist. For tomorrow, the weapons will be piled high and tanks left dry, drones in the sky, no more. We turn their swords into plowshares. I make a garden from your M16. I irrigate the earth from your death machine and hold out to you a meal for us all to sit at the same table. For tomorrow, Israeli and Palestinian shall sit down and have dinner again. The rich shall eat with the poor and the oppressor with the oppressed and they shall talk of forgiveness, truth and reconciliation. For tomorrow, the betrayed shall no longer seek revenge and Revenge shall no longer be found in the dictionary and neither shall poverty nor infant mortality nor hungry nor thirsty nor children searching through waste dumps, oil pumps leaking the ocean, 21 million in slavery no more. For tomorrow we live in colour, for tomorrow we dance on the streets, for tomorrow we look the other in the eye, for tomorrow we embrace, for tomorrow we are set free. For today we crawl on our hands and knees believing the tomorrow we are seeing stretch our eyes forward, move our limbs, turn our heads toward the sound of liberation. We wait and this waiting is an ache and this ache is a burden, heavy and hopeful. This ache is a back scratch, never quite reaching that sweet spot. And so we keep on scratching, we keep on moving, we keep on working, we keep on crawling, we keep going forward. We seek for tomorrow by acting today until this world is as it was always meant to be.